guys. Sorry about the funky lighting. We're here for the Project Pan Art Supply Style for July um, 2020. And I had footage of me speaking to the camera, showing the box of stuff. I don't know where the footage has gone. <laughs> but yeah, so this month I did more purging of supplies than I did using up of supplies. But regardless, the idea is to spend the year going through my stash of things and um, trying things I've never used before, deciding if I like them or not, and whether I need to keep them in my stash or not, um, using up maybe some things that I kind of like and that I just want to use up, getting rid of stuff that I'm just like over. Um, so here we'll cut away for some video footage of me filling some purge boxes, including um, I have reduced my stash of um, glitters and texturing things like glitter and I don't know what there's some like like um what do you call them not seed beads <laughs> little tiny really pebbly colored holy cow I can't I'm losing the English again anyway it's like a box of texturing stuff glitter and the like and I reduced it by half I had two bins. I had one of glitter and textury things and I had one of embossing powders. I really wasn't using either much and I didn't need two big bins of them. So I reduced them down so I can get all of it in one bin and I put all of it into a purge box, a medium sized priority mail purge box, which has since sold. I did the same thing with scrapbooking paper and stickers of which I had way too many I used them both, but not enough to have as much as I had. So I was re able to reduce those um, by half um, and put fill again another Priority Mail purge box. And here's a little bit of video footage of me um, doing that. The next clips I have are of two more boxes. I went through my two bins, two bins, two bins, I had of mark making tools, some purchased, some found objects, mostly found objects, some hand carved stamps, some stamps made out of craft foam, um, things I use to make marks on journal pages or when I'm jelly printing. I didn't need two bins of them. I haven't touched any of them except for a few plumbing parts to make circles with since I moved in 2018. Yeah, so I reduced that by half and filled a large priority mailbox with mark making tools. And then I also went through, what was the other thing I went through? Holy crap. Mark making tools and, oh, hold on. Paper punches paper punches. I had a big, giant, very tall um, bin. Like
paper punches and planner punches. And I didn't use them all, to be honest. I used them occasionally. There was a few favorites in there, which I kept, but I was able to reduce my punch stash by half. Um, and all of the boxes, as of the fil filming of this right now, um, the punch box, the um, mark making tools box, and two other boxes, um, which I'll talk about in a second, are all in the Etsy shop. I also went through, and I didn't film, I went through my collection of art, art bags. So I have art bags, traveler's notebook covers, and the like. A collection of them, of which I only used a few um, ever, and there were some I hadn't touched again since before we moved. So I went through a bunch of stuff like that and a few um, salvage, salvagey parts, um, like um, um, wooden alphabet blocks and stuff like that I used to make different art things with. And I filled up two medium priority mailboxes with that sort of thing. I do think there's some maybe a little video footage in a vlog, and if I can find it, I'll insert it here. So then I did use up, and of course I've lost the footage and thrown it away. I used hey guys, so I'm filming this a little early in the month of July for the Project Pan Art Supply Style for August, but my box was overflowing. So if you're watching this clip, you just saw two clips of me filling two more um, purge boxes I've lost track now of, uh, of how many I've filled in the last few months. I don't, I don't even know. But thank you all because you're buying them. I do appreciate that. Um, I did use up the rest of my Easy Mold um, that I had, that I, I've had for a long time. So that's empty. I used up the last little bit of this bottle of FW Pearlescent liquid acrylic ink by Dayla Rowney and I don't my, it's not like my glasses are far away let me see what color was it Genesis green so that's empty it's one of the colors of ink I used up 
um, dyeing um, some of the green fabric and trim that's in the purge boxes right now. I'll put a picture of the green fabric here somewhere. I used up some packing tape. Uh, wet and dry on three pens, but I don't know where the other one is. I used up one of my bit crystals, a graphic liner. I also used a used up a gray highlighter marker. I don't know where it is right now, but um, yeah. So I have some different off brands of highlighter uh, markers that I like to use in my daily sketches. And I used up, I, I love the gray one. I wish I could get it by itself because I'd get like a dozen of them. <sighs> but you can't, at least not that I know of. I'm gonna keep looking, but anyway. Um, I used up these two. This is from something I purged last month. Evidently, I missed a little ring in the bottom of the box. And I used up finally all of my art resin and all of my um, other kind of resin. What was it? Amazing Clear Cast? Anyway, I used up all my resin, two different kinds, this month. I did order some more of the Clear Cast because um it's food safe and i have some more tumblers to do um and a couple of other things and if the clear cast i can use for making molded embellishments but i can also use it for tumblers so it makes sense to just have that one although this one has absolutely no odor um, but it's not okay for food that i know of so which is too bad because i'd rather use this one anyway that's it for the minute um, I'll be back. I used up a couple of my favorite Bit Crystal um, ballpoint pens, and I, these I don't use anything fancy for my daily sketches. A plain Bit Crystal. This is the bold tipped one, which is a little heavier, thicker line, and then this is your regular Bit Crystal. I, I don't use, and right now with back to school, you can get these like ten for a dollar or less. Um, and I don't use anything fancy. Um, in fact, pens might be a next thing I go through. Anyway, um, so I used up a couple of those. In fact, I have another one downstairs that's just about out of ink. Um, it's running really light. So I do literally use it all up until it won't write anymore, and then I get rid of it. Um, I also went through my favorite gray highlighter pen. Now, the one that I used up, I've thrown away. And the new one is downstairs, but it's by this company called uh, Powerline 2500. Well, that's the brand name of the pen. It's Java. It'd be helpful if I had my glasses on. Java Writing Instruments. Java Pen Powerline. This is the six color set. It doesn't have the original colors in it because two of the colors are downstairs. Um, they have this really pretty sagey green and a gray. And I love both of them. They're my favorite colors. I wish I could get them by themselves. If you know about this pen brand and you have any idea if I can get the gray and the green by themselves somewhere, please let me know. If you know of a marker or highlighter pen that comes in gray and like a sagey gray green um, that I can get singly, um, please let me know. Leave something in the comments below or message me. Um, I use them almost daily in my daily drawing downstairs. Now, yes, I love these other colors and these are sort of backup colors, but the gray and the green that come in this set, they are my favorite. If you wanna try these markers, they have this small little set, which is uh, mild fluorescent colors. Again, the colors that are in here right now are not the original colors. These are the original colors and it's this green and this gray. Love them. And I can use them on any paper, even thin paper, and um, get the sort of shadows and things that I want. Whereas I can't do it on some of the thinner papers with the Bible highlighter um, gel crayons because I want to thin them out with water to make them less sticky. And um, of course, all the paper won't take that because it's too some of it's too thin. So these come in really handy. They have a big, huge set with a bunch of different colors, but this particular set is my favorite, the mild colors. Um, and I have another set of Stadler Jumbo highlighters that I use, which I do love. They don't have a gray though. So um, yeah, looking for a gray. 
Um, what else? I went through some planner stuff and got rid of some planner um, stuff, um, including some die cuts. That got sold in the sticker box and used up some things. I'm about to go through. I have molded embellishments, clay embellishments, resin embellishments, and I just made a bunch of these not long ago. I don't need three containers of them. I'd like to get it down to one, but at the very least, I'd like to get it down to two. So I will be putting a bunch of stuff into a, um, probably a small priority mailbox or a few little packages of them to sell in the Etsy store. Um, some of the resin is completely, you know, unfinished and um, the edges need cleaning up, but you really just need a nail file and just just file it with a nail file over the garbage a garbage can. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna finish the edges or anything. Um, some of them are molded with a hole in them. Some you could drill a hole with a with a Dremel. And I'm sorry, the crows. We have these big giant black crows or ravens. I'm not a bird person, but there's like a whole flock of them in the woods next to my house. Can you hear them? Um. Anyway, and there's some little things like this little honeycomb. Again, I'm not going to, you know, trim any of that off. Some of them are already trimmed and finished and they're made out of paper clay, like these skulls and these, um, they're, but see, I didn't take that part off. And some are completely unpainted. So I'm going to be going through these today and making up a package or packages of them. All of this stuff I've mentioned is in the Etsy shop unless it's sold already. Um, and if you aren't sure about finding it, the Etsy shop link is below. You can always message me and ask. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm currently on the hunt for a great sheer gray marker and a sage green marker, similar to the colors back here, this one and this one. And, you know, because of the pandemic, it's not like I can go down to, you know, Dick Blick and like, you know, tell them, what my issue is, take the gray and the green pen with me and see what they have in stock that's similar. I don't feel safe doing that, so um, even if they would let me. So um, yeah, I'm gonna rely on you guys and have you let me know. And if you know if this Java, again, I'm trying to read it without my glasses on. Java Writing Instruments Company sell, the, sell the, these markers in something other than a set. I mean, I'd love a box like this of six of the gray and a box of six of the green. That would be wonderful. But yeah, anyway, I got them on Amazon. I'll, I'll put links below. So that's it for this month. Um, how are you guys doing with the pandemic, with keeping up with your daily art and using it to stay sane and stay safe and stay healthy? And, you know, are you like the rest of us, you using 
the opportunity of staying home and not being able to go anywhere to work on your space or spaces in your house. We're, you know, going to be making a couple of um, small changes up here in the art room and we're making some big changes downstairs in the garage which is the room right below this one which is my husband's space he does have a little uh, desk up here for working on models and stuff I don't know if that's going to stay or not once he gets his garage fixed up um, I might end up with extra art space I don't know we'll see um, but yeah, we're working on, we can't, you can't go anywhere, right? You're not supposed to travel. You're supposed to stay home. And when you do go, you have to wear a mask and all that. So sometimes it's just easier to stay home. So we're working on projects around the house, things we've meant to do since we moved in and yeah, why not? So we're working on that. And of course, in the meantime, I'm also, you know, experimenting with dyeing fabric. And if you're following me on social media, you know, all that doing weekly lives again, so yeah, follow me here on YouTube and hit that bell notification if you want to know, be notified when I am going live or when I put new video out. Um, this last month, there's been a lot of video content on my channel. So there will be less in August because yeah, that was crazy town. I won't be doing that again. I'm gonna take a little mini vacation from YouTube. I mean, I'm still posting like once a week but nothing like what we're, we were doing. Yeah, in fact, I'm filming all of August videos like the next few days, and then that's, I'll be around like in the background and doing lives, but no recordings. So anyway, keep up the good work, everybody. Um, you know, the Project Pan Art Supply Style was inspired by some of the beauty channels and their um, process they've had for years of going through their makeup stash and purging what they're not using, using what they have, um, and just trying to keep control of their stash. We as artists and creative have the same problem. So it inspired me to do the same thing. You know, you have a tendency to just collect stuff and stick it in a corner and then forget about it. So Project Pan Art Supply Style is a thing for me, probably is going to be a thing going forward. And um, this month I was able to do really good. In the last few months since the pandemic started, I've sold two to four purge boxes full of stuff. Um, thank you guys who have bought them. And I do put a few prints or artwork or something in the boxes, uh, every box that sells. Normally um, these last two boxes with the punches and the mark making tools in them don't have that because the boxes were just too full and, and or too heavy. Um, but a lot of the other ones have something in them. Um, so I want to thank you all for supporting that and buying those boxes. I appreciate it. If you want to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, there's lots of different ways you can do that. There's links in the video description. Um, and not just for my content, there's a lot of really great creatives out there on YouTube in the Facebook art groups. Most of them have a way to support them. And I know they would appreciate that. And if you can't figure it out, ask them and I'm sure they'll share with you. So what else? Um, I think that's it. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys.